All right, so I have a um, Gigabyte uh, AMD and I want to show you how to enable virtualization for Hyper-V if you want to install virtual machines. First thing first, when it's booting, press delete and get to the screen. If you are on this screen, press F2 to get into detailed uh, options. Then the first one, m.i.t. M, uh, you want to go into miscellaneous settings under there. Oh no, sorry. You want to go to advanced uh, frequency settings and then advanced CPU settings. In there, you can see this one SVM. That's the one that's disabled. You have to enable it. And that's just like that. Your virtualization is now enabled. You can go into your Windows and uh, do the Hyper V. So let's save it. I'm going to wait for it and I'm going to show you in Windows 11 where it is. All right, so in Windows uh, 11, we're going to go with the, uh, add remove. Hmm. So in the add and remove apps and features, so there is. More settings. Add a remote feature it was. Add remove. Feature. All right, so I'm sorry I can't find it right now. I have to go dig a little bit. So, it was on, yeah, turn Windows feature on and off. Right there, Hyper-V. Make sure when you click it, everything else is uh, clicked. And that's how you enable Hyper-V. Now it's uh, enabling it. I thought that uh, its feature is not available but yeah it's still available through control panel and all you have to do is restart your computer and Hyper-V will be available from now on you could search from the start menu all right so Windows back let's find out if Hyper-V is showing up now or not and it seems like there it is so you can see I have Hyper-V on my Windows 11 now. I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please rate, comment, subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next one.